What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, oh yeah, welcome back to um, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Um, I have officially respect. Now, again, if this respect fails, then I'll simply, um, I simply like I I I've, I've learned Radon's attack patterns at least for his first half, All right? So at the very least, I can at least survive his first first uh, round. So. Um, basically, I have I have gotten a bleed build put together that's mainly a mage bleed build, rather than um, rather than a dexterity bleed build. Let me see here. Uh, so, no, what was I looking for? Intelligence, intelligence. Now, again, by the time this video comes out, by the time this video comes out, um, I'm pretty sure the developers will be have patched this out, even though apparently it was not patched out from the jump, so I don't know. But basically, all I need to do, again, I'm not really, I haven't really used a mage build like that. So what I need to do is first use this Val move, then use the Wanderer's Physic. Then I can go inside, um, and supposedly the magic happens. Mainly because Radon is so big, um, the Brambles do some massive damage. So I'll see. Like I said, if this doesn't work, then I have a I have a tower shield. Well, I don't have it now, but I can get it back. I don't know what happened to it, but I can get it back. Uh, it's, it's a tower shield that um, negates a hundred percent damage on block, and um, I also have a. You can also strike while blocking with it, so it'll take a minute. But I, I definitely believe I can beat him with that. But what I'm hoping to do is beat him now before he gets to use all of that heavy stuff, you know? So I'm going to see how this works. So according to the instructions, use Val. Switch to this. Use the physic. And then go inside. I had to make sure to heal up first. Yo, that does do a lot of damage. But the question is, how do we survive this? I mean, I'm not going to lie, that does a lot of damage very quickly. But again, it's his second form that's the problem. His second form is the problem. Let me see. I, I, I got to get used to the formula. So it's this... Then this, then we go in, survive his first onslaught,
Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. What kind of move was that? And you see my mimic? He just sitting back there walking. Okay, I think I have the formula. I think I have the formula. All we have to do, again, survive his onslaught. At the jump. Get my mimic out, survive his onslaught. Then while he's messing with the mimic, I hit him with the brambles. But then... After that, when he starts to go into that second phase, I need to, uh, we should actually be able to use more than one Wanderer's Physic, to be honest, but I need to make sure Alright, I think we're good now. That killed? That means my Mimic didn't do anything that fight. My Mimic didn't do anything that fight, bro. What? Hold on. There's one other thing I didn't equip, but I don't think I can, actually. I don't know if this sword can get it. No. No. No, that's not it either. That's not it either. So, let me see. Flame art? No. Blood short sword. So maybe it's not on short swords. Maybe it's on like bigger swords. Flame art milady. No. Yeah, I must not have it. I must not have it. So all these are exclusive to... Okay, so let me find a regular sword. Where's the River of Blood sword at? Oh, am I not able to use it because of my stats? I don't think I'm able to use it because of my stats. Hmm. Backhand blade. I don't know if that can use it either. Yeah. Either these blades can't use it, or I don't have it. One or the other is the case. But um, what I will do, however, is I will remove these two because they don't really help me out right quick. But, well, I mean, there is that one other item, but I only have one of it. And they say you can't craft it. Wait a minute, what does this say? Boost vigor. Temporary boost physic attack. T 
temporarily grants large boost to fire damage. Yeah, but that's fire damage. What about... Well, this boosts magic damage. Although, I don't know. Hold on. Can I craft that? Temporarily boost fire damage. Temporarily boost immunity. Yeah, I don't have anything that boosts fire. I mean, magic damage, I don't believe. Nope. So we have to... We got them down. We got them down. We just, we just gotta... We gotta be a little more uh, vigilant, you know? Pop that. No! See? Oh my gosh. I, I'm messing up already. Dude, you know what? <laughs> I mean, that's what... I, I, I'm sitting here clicking square and all of a sudden... Oh, you, you queued up the down on the D-pad though. So... No, I didn't queue up down on the D-pad. Alright. Did I have any... I don't think I had any runes to begin with. Oh, uh, let me see. I do this. Get this boost. Take this. And then get ready. I can't die in the beginning, though, because that would be a waste. Use it, bro. Hit him, hit him, Mimic, hit him! What are you doing? Bro, this Mimic is tripping! Look at how much damage you did just now. If you would have been spamming the move, you stupid idiot. Oh my gosh, and now I wasted one of the magic things, man. That's so dumb, bro. And now that's it for them, so I might as well... Remove that off the list. That's so dumb. I, that was the perfect setup right there. And he messed it all up. Dude, that is not hitting me. What? Let's run. Run. No, don't use the skill. Run. You idiot. Time to run out of magic.
Don't drink the magic potion! <laughs> Look at his health, dude. Look at his health. Look at his health, man. Dude, look at his health. He was done. If I'd have drank the health pot right there, he'd have been done, bro. <laughs> he'd have been done, man. All right, all right. So he, he rarely gets a chance to even do anything now. He rarely gets a chance to even do anything now. The Mimic. I actually might need to pop the valve some more too. I think maybe it runs out. Oh, I can't summon him now. It's over. I'm wondering though. How would you dodge that spiral attack? There doesn't seem to be a way. I haven't seen anyone yet that dodges that attack. I have seen people kill him before he could use it, but I've never seen anyone actually dodge that attack. So I don't know exactly how one would go about dodging it, to be honest. I, I messed up so much on that run though. It was a it was a wrap from the jump. I healed. I mean I dodged. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge that, bro. I need you to hit him, Mimic. Where you at? Mimic, shoot the beans, boy. Alright, run. Run for your life. Oh, he's not you. Oh, yes, he is. Run, run, run. Dude, I'm dodging. Dude, I was. Look at how much damage we're doing. You know what? If my mimic wasn't so stupid, oh my gosh, if he wasn't so stupid! <laughs> uh, oh, if he wasn't so dumb. Alright, let's try this again. Like, he needs to just use the, the spell. Why are you, why are you hesitating? See, right now I have plenty of time to use it. Maybe if I, um... Maybe if I dodge the draw... Not good. Not good. I don't I got so greedy and tried to call two at a time. But yeah, when he does that little draw in move, it, it, there's there's gotta be a way to dodge it. 
You might have to just do it at the right time. I'm thinking maybe you do it at the right time. And as you can see, even though some may say, oh, you're cheesing, you know, look at how difficult he is even with this build. Nope, it doesn't work. That sword attack, his sword range is, is uh, false. There is no way that hit me, bro. There's no way that hit me. I'm sorry. There's no way that hit me. There is no way that hit me. Now apparently I could get some other bleed thing in there, but that does even more damage, but it'll cost, my life will be going down constantly. Dude, that is not touching me, bro. Of course the wall would be there to block me. But you see, it's doing some massive damage. It's doing much more damage than any of my other weapons. It's just now it's like, uh, and, and this is why I picked this build. is because if the game is going to cheat like that, the game is cheating. So why not allow us a cheese build to cheat with too? I'm dead. Wait, what? That didn't kill me? Did you see the damage done right there? Run, run, run. It's too late. I mean, look at how much damage that did right there. I think that is the key. I think that is the key. That is the key, man. That's the key. It just takes one of these times where we get lucky. And like, just bleed them on out. Bleed them on out. I did not drink that pot. So actually I have enough health now to where I can just go ahead and summon, right? That completely missed me. It completely missed me and I still got hit. That is hilarious. It completely missed me and I still got hit. But yeah, I don't actually know. Okay. I don't actually have to worry about um dying on that first part i can just uh go ahead and summon him instantly just to get him on out here well i guess maybe i should dodge i'm still curious as to how you would dodge that attack I'm thinking, I'm thinking you can roll, like, okay, so let me try this. 
when he when he draws you in and lift up his blade. No, because he tracks to you. That makes no sense. He'll track. Like, I was thinking roll through his legs as he's coming down and then roll a second time because it doesn't go that far behind him. But I promise you if I do that, the game is just going to let him do a complete 180 and hit me the other way. So, I don't think that is going to work. But I think that's one of the key things right there is trying to figure out exactly how to dodge that one attack. Why did I do that, man? Now that was completely on me. That was completely on me. That was complete. You see that? He started tracking to my mimic. That's how I know it, it won't work that way. I'm still going to try it anyway because it's best to try and find out that it's not going to work than to not try it and continuously wonder if it will. But that was on me. Now, hold on. Let me get rid of uh, Torrent because that's, that's annoying, bro. Like, I, I can't stand when I do that. How did that hit me too? Where is my mimic? I'm getting the hang of little floaty balls though. I did not expect that to do that much damage. I was panic rolling. But what I need him to do right there is I need him to look at the damage. Look at that. Can you imagine if we both did that at the same time? Like what I need him to do is um hold on, hold on, hold on. Cuz they did say one option. Where is it at? One option I could use. Do I not have it anymore? What is that? Dueling shield? I think they said this was one option I could use. That would allow me to block. But the... The que I would actually... Hold on, let me... Because I think I need this still in order to um, call the incantation. Or call the, the vow thing. Alright, so now let me get my mimic out here. Nope, you can't roll through them, unfortunately. Hit him with it, Mimic! Now he should be he should be focused on the Mimic right now.
Yo, how many swings does he have, man? How many swings does he have, bro? I All I need to do is survive that combo when he gets out of that big big blasting range and he's done for. And he knows it. That's why they let him swing forever like that. That is insane that they let him swing that many times. Like he in Rise of the Ronin or something. Oh, I'm pretty sure I dodged that. I know I dodged that. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you teleport to. I mean, it doesn't matter where you dodge to. Maybe you have to just block it? I'm thinking maybe if I had a... Since I have a shield, maybe I could just try and block it. Because that move... That move is a... Uh, At this point, I'm not seeing a way to, to avoid it. But I am making progress, though. That's on me. That's on me. Let me think, let me think. So maybe if he, when he draw, oh yeah, that's right, I was, see, I completely forgot. I was supposed to block it. I was supposed to block it. You know what? I knew it. I was just getting ready to put square. So you can't you can't go through his legs. You can't go around him. You can't jump over it. The only other thing you can do is block it. That's the only other thing you can do. And it's looking... What? Oh. And see, I can't... I'm doing runs now where I'm making silly mistakes. What happened to his summons? Where's my mimic? Yeah, I, oh, I, I, again, I completely forgot. 
Again, I completely forgot to simply block. What is wrong with me right now? I had a plan. I had the plan all figured out, and 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 now it's just like falling apart. But we just need one good run to get back. In okay, so dodge the electric attack. Summon the mimic, whether you get hit or not. And then heal up, wait for the Mimic to draw aggro, then go in and spam. Alright, I got the game plan down. That hit me even though I jumped, bro. There's no way to die there, bro. Mimic? I got him! Whoa! I got him. Oh man, that I, I'm not gonna lie to you, Radon. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. That felt good. You know that that felt good. Look at all these bodies that apparently came to try to kill you. Just like in the other world. Now, I didn't have to use a mage build to beat you in the other world. But I don't know how you got the Scarlet Rod off of you this time. But, my brother. I actually defeated him. Unfortunately, there appeared... Oh, no. Oh, I thought the, I thought the boss was right there. Yeah. Is there some uh, is there something I'm supposed to do to get up here? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Maybe over here. Can I get a side of grace, please? I mean, after all, I did just defeat Radon for a second time. And I'm telling you now. What in the world? I'm telling you now. If this hasn't been patched. If this hasn't been patched. Take advantage of it now. If you can't beat Radon any other way. Okay, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Well, I, I guess I'm supposed to leave. Honestly speaking, I feel like just, you know, taking a break after this. What? Those brambles hit me too? Oh no. They do. What? 
I had no healing pots left too. For anyone who's asking, oh, do you feel proud of yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. You wanna know why? Because I didn't like I could have I could have taken another route. I could have I could have done like well actually no I don't know if the mage build with the uh, Comet Azura would work here because he moves around way too much and apparently he's not staggerable either. But yeah I guess I guess I have to leave. I guess I have to leave because there's nothing else. Hold on, I will be right back. Alright, so, to my surprise, I am back, first of all. To my surprise, um, I did some research. And it appears that Radon is actually the final boss of the DLC. I guess it's no wonder he was so hard. But, uh, yeah. He is the final boss of the DLC. Wait, does this mean... Does this mean I can't use the... I can't use that. So yeah, Radon was the final boss of the DLC. So that's why... I thought maybe I had to go up there somewhere. Um, but you don't fight, apparently you don't fight Mikola. Or, well, you fight, that's right, that's right, Mikola's body is actually in the lands between. And I guess his spirit was here in the shadow area, drawing in as many warriors as he possibly could. But yeah, so... That actually completes the DLC. Now, from what I understand, there are two other notable bosses in this DLC that I did not um, encounter. One of which is someone named uh, Metter or something like that, who is the mother of all fingers. So you know the, the, the two fingers and the finger readers? Apparently, Metter is the one that... Uh, Metter is the one that, I guess, is the origin of the two fingers or something like that? I don't know. Maybe there's some lore behind it. I'm not sure. And the other one is actually the... Uh, the Lord of the Frenzied Flame. Now you know in the original game, you had the, you have the option to become his servant, and you know scorch the earth rather than um, rather than restore the Golden Order or side with Ronnie. You have the option, or or fill the world with plague. You have the option to fill the world with flames, and of course you know. Um, the one, I forgot the name of the girl that rides with you all the way up to the, the furnace to burn the earth tree. She all of a sudden turns into someone that looks like Ronnie and starts hunting you down. And she warns you before you join the Frenzy Flame to stay away from it. But at, if you don't and you go ahead and get the Frenzy Flame ending... Um, it ends with her starting to hunt you down. Which, in my opinion, I think that would actually be a cool DLC. Uh, if you get the Frenzy Flame ending and she, you did have to play as her and hunt down the new Frenzy Flame uh, avatar. But all that said and done, apparently the Lord of the Frenzied Flame is actually here. 
or I guess one of his avatars because from what I understand the frenzied flame and there's one other one I think it's the the deity eater serpent that ate Rykar no it might not be him I know it's the frenzied flame and it's one other being out there that's like the greater will in that they're immortal but they just have their influence in the the land of the the, the lands between so yeah as of right now that is it for the DLC um I actually what does he what does the two fingers give you for this Radon because I know you could get um, Radon's uh, blades if I'm not mistaken I already have Radon's blades I, I well at least I thought I picked them I may, maybe I didn't but you can get Radon's blades from the original game I'm not exactly sure what you would get from this remembrance but I'm about to find out and then afterwards I'm gonna respect back to my fire knight flame sword because uh, I only wanted to use this build to beat that stupid boss and and I really wish I could have used my perfumes honestly that this was the out of the whole DLC actually I'm not gonna say that because I didn't use these Dane's footwork it would be pretty interesting to see how uh, martial arts or hand-to-hand -hand combat works as well as what Ash of War would be on it but of the weapons I've been able to use so far the perfume bottles and the throwing dagger where is it at? this one the perfume bottles and the throwing dagger were the two funnest weapons I've used in the DLC and this one actually even claimed Bell the Dread's head so yeah out of these two these were the most fun out of the DLC that I've used also um speaking of Bell the Dread apparently I have the ability to turn into a dragon or I can figure out how to turn into a dragon as well uh, after doing that quest with uh, Don't Ego it. Remembrance of so you get the Great Sword of Radon which I think I already have it's a colossal sword Standard and Pierce. Great Sword of Radon Light. They both weigh the same, so what's the difference between. It says Promised Consort and Light Speed Slash. They both do physical and magic damage. They both spec with strength dexterity and intelligence so I'm curious as to what the difference between the two are they both have the same you know what you need 72 faith to use annihilates foes with a pillar of light kind of like the hollows and bleach um I'm gonna do some research to figure out which one is better and by research, I mean I'm gonna check out some videos of anyone who has it, just to see uh, their skills and stuff. See which one is better. And after that, I'll come back and pick one. But yeah, if I do another video on Elden Ring's DLC, it'll be uh, 
fighting the Lord of the Frenzied Flame and the Mother of All Fingers. Or Mother of Fingers, I think her name is. But I think I beat some pretty noticeable, notable bosses, though. Like, I beat the Lion Dancer. I beat Rolana. I beat Mother and his flames. Um, beat General Gaius. Beat quite a few dragons. Quite a few hippos. Quite a few worms. And quite a few invaders. So... I don't think there are any more noticeable bosses. Actually, I'll, I'll look up a list of all the bosses, available bosses in the DLC. And see if there are some that I missed. Oh, I also beat the Scatter Tree Fragment monster. Or Avatar. Scatter Tree Avatar. So, yeah. Definitely. I guess, before I go, I would give you my my final thoughts on the DLC um well actually not thoughts I think the 40 bucks was worth it in my opinion the 40 bucks was worth it yes I got salty on a lot of the bosses and when you get salty you tend to you know throw out insults so yeah I insulted the dev mainly for the taunt if I had to if I had to criticize anything find a way to make the taunt a combination of buttons make the taunt like pressing all the trigger buttons down at once and then triangle or something so that he doesn't taunt before going in the door because it kind of I, I kind of feel like he's mocking me you know like you can do it this time bro and I'm like you're the one not doing the moves I'm telling you to do you know but yeah Realistically speaking, I think the DLC was worth it. There's a lot to do. Um, there's a lot, even still now, there's a lot I haven't explored, you know? Um, so there is definitely a lot to do. There's still, even, even now, there's still bosses I haven't beat. Uh, and two of them that I know of, anyway. So, yeah, I enjoyed the game. Um, if you're, if you're, one thing I don't like is the fact that when a, when a player finds a build that can beat a difficult boss and the devs patch it out of the game, that gets annoying. But, because eventually, like in new game pluses and stuff, then that's when you, you know, you can experiment with new stuff, but most players just want to beat the DLC and move on you know me personally i just wanted to explore um and it was fun getting back into elden ring oh there's also the paintings right the paintings apparently you can go to areas in the paintings and find items and stuff um were the bosses hard yes a lot of the bosses were super hard if you aren't specking strength and doing jump attacks. If you spec strength to do jump attacks, you'll only have to pretty much worry about Radon because he uh, he can't be staggered apparently. But other than that, you really don't have to worry about any. I can't think of any other boss. Well, yeah, there's another one, General Gaius. Now you may be able if you can get some jump attacks off on General Gaius then um, you should be fine. But that dude was annoying, you know? And you don't have to worry about mother because he staggered at the one or two jump hits anyway, you know? Um, but yeah, all the bosses that you couldn't summon the Mimic on um, were beatable without them. And again, if you want to beat all the bosses without using the summons, that's perfectly fine. But you know what's also perfectly fine? Beating the bosses with the summons. They're in the game for a reason, you know? Um, I'm not too keen on the scatter tree fragment thing, but I understand why they did it. Because apparently 
they made all the enemies scale um, to your level. So if you were to go out and go back to Moog's place and farm runes and go up 100 levels, everything in the DLC would go up 100 levels too. So the only thing that you can do to level up in the DLC is get all the scatter tree fragments and um, the revered ashes for your summons. But other than that, um, one other criticism is um, one other criticism I had is uh, the dragons, like uh, Bail the Dread and the other dragon. I think his name is Artaxerxes or Plazaxes or something like that. Um, not being able to target their feet. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but that made them. That was the what made them more difficult was that you couldn't target their feet. But again, like I said, all in all, I enjoy the DLC. Um, I enjoyed everything I played through. As far as the story, again, I have to give it a down point on the story because I didn't understand the whole point of the shadow area. Now, once you, once I beat the once I beat the um, Lion Dancer, the the two fin the finger reader told me to take vengeance on Mesmer because he betrayed everyone, or he betrayed their order, the Lion Dancing order. So I beat Mesmer, and then all of a sudden these people are trying to reach Mikola. Apparently, Mikola has the ability to charm you, quote unquote. And make you become one of one of his subjects. And given that Radon was there, it looks like it's more than just one of his subjects. Because Radon is his quote unquote consort. And we all know what consorts mean. But I what I don't understand is Um First of all, I don't understand Radon. Because Radon was amongst the living. In the in the land of the in the lands between. And according to the lore in the lands between, if I understand correctly, Radon wasn't he couldn't die because he continuously ate not only his own people, but his enemies, because he was rotten inside. He had scarlet rot on the inside from fighting millennia. And so even though he couldn't die, he was, he was cursed with um, eternal hunger because every time he eat, the scarlet rot would rot away whatever he ate and would force him to have to eat again. So I'm guessing once you kill him in the lands between, he goes to some shadow realm and gets... Uh, enchanted by Mikola and becomes Mikola's consort. I, I, I'm guessing, and which is weird because if you remember, Moog also wanted to be Mikola's consort. But given that Mikola's special ability is charm, I'm assuming none of these people wanted to do this, they were forced to do it, including Millennia. Millennia apparently was forced to do it as well because if she beats you, remember she says, uh, I am the Millennia Blade of Mikola. But again, this is just me shooting off the top of my head. I don't know the lore. I don't know the lore. So that's probably why I give it a down point on the story is because I just, I don't know the lore. I don't understand it, you know. Um, but I will leave you with this. My favorite boss in the whole game. Um, if I had to do top three bosses that I actually enjoyed. Number one was the Lion Dancer. I think that was a unique boss to have two dudes holding up the Lion Dance and, and actually fighting with it. Switching between lightning, ice, wind, you know. I think that was a unique boss. Number two is Rolana. Um, 
I think they did great with her her fight choreography. Um, and if I had to ch- uh, say a third boss that I thought was pretty cool, um, let me see. Certainly not General Gaius. In my opinion, General Gaius is one of the worst bosses in the game. Um, I don't know. Okay, I will give it to Bell the Dread because of his second form. Um, and because of his lore. The fact that he fought Plasaxis to a standstill. And if you actually fight Plasaxis in the, in the land of the b- between, you'll see that he lost one of his three heads. And... Uh, according to the lore, Plasaxis lost one of his three heads to to Bell the Dread, but Bell the Dread lost an arm and a leg to this guy, and so that's why he's walking around with just his tail, one arm and one leg. But when he when he turns into that second form, he gets like an ethereal version of his arms and stuff, and he starts flying around. So I that would be my top three bosses. Um. Uh, number one, the Lion Dancer for sure. Number two is Rolana, and number three. Well, you know what? I don't need a number three. I'll just say my two, my top two favorite was the Lion Dancer and Rolana. I think those were two unique bosses. Um, two bosses that, in my opinion, ruined the game was General Gaius and. Radon and the reason I say Radon ruins the game is because um, the fact that he just continuously swings and attacks without any pause is ridiculous and if there was one other thing I, I would criticize about the game is they need to get rid of the tracking mechanic um when you think to like jump, like use your invincibility frame to go through a boss and force them to commit one way so you can get an attack from behind, but then they just immediately 180 and hit you back, hit you from behind, I think that is ridiculous. But of course, I mean, you know, it's your mechanic, your game. I don't have to like it, but again, I don't take, that didn't take away from, you know, the game for me. Um, my favorite weapon was the perfume bottles and the throwing daggers, which were nerfed, so yeah. But all in all, I don't feel like I wasted my 40 bucks. I got a lot out of the game, and I beat it, so I don't care. That I had to switch to a mage build, that's that's part of the game. You know, just like they have the 180 tracking, I can go back and switch to a mage build with bleed. So yeah. But I'm proud of the fact that I beat the, the DLC. And I don't know if I do any more videos on this game unless it's to fight the other two bosses I missed. Or if there's some other things that I missed, you know, that I want to go back and do. But hope you guys enjoyed the run. Um, instead of doing like separate videos for boss fights, I decided to just use chapters to let you know when the boss fight starts and what which attempt was actually the successful one. So, you know, it's all put in one video. You know? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys will subscribe to the channel for more content. We're going to be doing some more playthroughs throughout the year. And there's some already on the channel, you know. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to continue Snake Eater at this point. And once the new one comes out, I'll just, you know, I, if I check it out, I'll check it out. If I don't, I don't. But, yeah, that's also coming down the pipeline. And until next time. You guys know what to do. If you're having trouble with Radon, get this mage build.
Well, actually, I don't know. Like I said, by the time this video comes out, it might be nerfed. Um, but look for the next one because you know the players are going to find another one that's, that's cheap. And also, one other thing. I'm proud of the fact that this time around I didn't Elden Ring it. Meaning I didn't sit here for five or six hours trying to beat the boss in one sitting. I took a break. Went a couple of days, did some other things. Came back to it when I did, you know. And I'm not saying anyone else shouldn't. I'm just saying for me, it hurt my mental to do that the first time. And I'm glad that, you know, I evolved to the point where I didn't do it this time, you know. Because you should always do things in moderation. And sitting down and playing one game for six to eight hours without any breaks, it's just not good for me. You know, it's not good for me. And until next time, you guys know what to do. Stay blessed.